buenos días. Good morning. I miss you guys. So I decided to make you a video to give you all of the important information that I need you to know. I have four announcements. Here's the first announcement. First announcement is that today is our first day of e-learning. We don't know how many days of e-learning there are going to be. But today is the first day. So right now, we're scheduled for nine days of e-learning. That brings us to spring break. After spring break, which is from March 28th to April 5th, after spring break, we're not sure if we'll be going back to the South or if we will be continuing e-learning. But for now, we're sure that there's going to be nine days of e-learning starting today. Each of those days, you will get an email from me at 8.30 in the morning, and that email will have two things in it. It will have a link for you to go mark yourself present, just like taking attendance. Even though we're not together, you are still there. You are present. of your teachers by 8.30 in the morning for each of these nine days. That's really exciting. Yay. So what you need to do is make sure that you check your email, read the assignments, and mark yourself present because you are not absent. You're present. Also, I need you to know that every day during those days, I will be available between 8.30 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon to answer any of your questions. You can send me an email. You can send me a message on Remind. If you're not part of my Remind yet, you can join into my Remind. If you don't know how to do that, send me a message, send me an email, and I will give you that information because it's different for each class. You can send me a message on Remind via email, via Twitter, anything. I'll get back to you very quickly between 8.30 and 3 o'clock. Um, ask me any questions if you are confused about the assignment or if you have any other questions that are relevant or not. Um, you feel free to contact me. I am open to communicate with you guys during that time. So I want this to be easy and as smooth as possible so, so me and all of your other teachers are available during the regular school day hours. So we'll be doing this e-learning for the next nine days. We're not sure how much longer that will be after that, but we're here for you. The second announcement is about lunch. So TS Scout is offering sack lunches and breakfasts for all of the students. So if you would like a sack lunch breakfast, which the two can combine, that's exciting then please go by TS Scout, I think between 10.30 and 12.30, any of these days where school is closed. You can go to the cafeteria and pick up a lunch. And that's number three. What are we doing today? Good question. So every day during the school closure, you'll have two things to do after you mark your test. There will always be a grammar component and a vocabulary component. Today's vocabulary component, I have attached to the email that you received from me, a vocabulary worksheet. There's two pages, it's page 88, 89 and 90. You need to do those two pages. I also attached the vocabulary lists that are relevant, so you can use those. You guys know these words already though, it's the family stuff, physical descriptions, you know this. So do that worksheet and return it to me. There are three different ways you can return it to me. You can either print it out and do the worksheet, take a picture and send it to me, or you can leave the worksheet on your device to look at the questions and write the answers on a separate sheet of paper, take a picture and send it to me, or you can just open up another window and not a real window, uh, a window on your device. Open up a window on your device and send me an email with all of the answers in it so then you don't have to take any pictures. So you can either respond to me via an email or send a, an email with a picture in it. Okay? So get those answers back to me. Then the second thing you need to do is grammar. So for the grammar practice, today you're going to click on the link that I attached in your email. 
It will bring you to a, just a practice. There's 40 practice problems of conjugating regular A-R-E-R-I-R -E -R -R verbs. This is foundational for the rest of Spanish. So if you get nothing else out of this year of Spanish, when you really need to be able to conjugate these verbs, which is, which is why we've been doing this over and over again, and we will continue to. So you'll be conjugating those 40 verbs. Um, just conjugate the verb so that it matches the subject. So if the subject is yo, make sure you conjugate the verb in yo form. If the subject is nosotros, make sure you conjugate the verb in nosotros form. I also attached the regular present tense verb resource. You can use that to help you. It has all of the A-R, E-R, and I-R endings on it, so that can be helpful. Take a look at that if you feel like you, know, you don't quite remember these endings. The other thing about this website that you'll go on is that if you want to make an accent mark, you need to just put in a capital letter. So you know in vosotros form, the A, the E, and the I all have an accent mark. So if there's a question about vosotros form, make sure that you put in a capital letter to show that that is an accent mark. Make sure you don't put any capital letters unless you want them to have an accent mark. Okay? Cool. Then my fourth announcement is just that I miss you guys and please be safe and stay home, do all of the safe things that, that we're being told to do, wash your hands, don't touch your face, be safe in, in, during this time. Um, I hope you guys get to get some rest and enjoy some of the time that you have off. Um, I don't know, read a book, go outside, write a book, do, do, do things. Um, I miss you and I hope that we get to be together again soon. Adios.